Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. There is one thing real quick that I want to address right off the bat, because the episode where I went to the Wasteland Bunker just premiered yesterday, and people were railing against me for ditching a pair of plus 60 looting goggles. But the thing is, all looting goggles are the same in Darkness Falls. So if I went into a different biome, this loot bonus would scale up with the biome multiplier. And so, you know, I just threw away an extra pair of looting goggles. So guys, don't worry about that. That's fine. What I would really like to do for today is start getting some electricity wired up here into the base area. And I want to also uh, move, like make a kitchen up here. We'll keep this room as like the mechanics workshop and the cement mixer room. Up here, I'm gonna make a little like bedroom area. And that'll free up a bunch of room down here to get all the food kitchen stuff out, put that up there, and we'll just put some more storage down here. So let's get to work on that. All right, I got the generator and a couple other things like a new sink crafting, but we need to make this into like a little bit of a bedroom. Let's get the floor set up first. Okay, and then there's this thing I did a long time ago to make up like a nice little bunk bed. Yeah, like this. I, I did this for the bedrock video ages ago. Very nice. Just gotta get some lights up here, like a, a nice little end table with some lamps, and uh, it'll be looking nice. We don't need that torch, though. In fact, we don't need boarded up windows, either. Let's let some air in here. Somebody getting shot at down here, or what? Ah, uh, yeah, spiker. Ooh, dead and, oh god, 22 skill points. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, we gotta spend those now, don't we? Automatic weapons. I'm also thinking to take this bar brawler perk set so if we go all the way that'll say the seventh blunt weapon strike land and landed in a short period of time does 300 percent damage we also get after getting hit we can move faster 10 percent more damage with each kill and 20 percent more damage to stunned and knocked out opponents okay let's take all these breaking and entering just increases block damage so we don't really need that i don't think I'm gonna go ahead and take some of those rifle points. I really want to start using the laser sniper rifle here in the near future, but we're not quite to the point where we can make that. We have to go to the wasteland again and um, get some, I think it was plutonium or uranium or you know one of those two, and then we can make refined or enriched uranium and then we can craft that. Take that last one into yeah, science, so I can craft battery banks, although I'm not sure how do I get um, solar panels? I haven't really, I've never seen those at the trader. Yeah, at this point, I, I don't even know what to spend my points on. Like I, I pretty much have everything I need. Okay, electric powered melee traps might be helpful. Ah, knife guy. That is what's going to decrease the stamina usage by melee weapons. And that would be really good for using the sword if I ever wanted to switch over to that. So yeah, you know, whatever. So with my last couple points here, I'm just gonna go into some bladed weapon perks, go straight through knife guy, and then the rest into blade master. Good enough. Suppose I can just set the generator down. Hmm, right there, I guess. I do want to knock these out because we're going to need to make like some sort of a, a half wall here just in case anything, any projectile gets shot up here. Don't want it to hit my metal, metal workbench. That would be bad. Oh, a whole bunch of zombies here. Oh, good chance for the military tablet. Let's have a look here. Yeah, just like three of them outside and I can't quite see them from here. Oh, there's one. Just let the turrets take care of them gonna do my best to like kind of box this in a little bit there we go looks pretty good fits flush with this uh, thing right here okay time for spikes not only do these look cool they can sometimes they can kind of prevent like a spider zombie from leaping up through here because they'll just kind of get deflected off maybe 
Some zombies just beating on things. Whoops! Whoa! Hello, sir. Stop beating on the wall, please. Military fiber in there. Hmm. That kind of makes me curious. Now that I have two pieces of power armor, I only need three of the radiation ready mods, and I believe they're 18 each, so that means I would need, what, 56? Hopefully I did the math right on that. That would be embarrassing. Where is that? Yeah, and I have plenty, so I don't have enough to make five pieces of radiation ready armor, or armor mods, but I do have enough now to make three of them. What do I need to make those? General schematics and duct tape. Well, I just bought, like, 10 grand worth of duct tape, so it should be good there. <laughs> now, is this like a tailoring workstation thing? Do I have to get that back out? Yeah, the tailoring bench. I think I put that away. So just, I've been kind of troubleshooting this for a second. I think I'm just gonna make the radiation ready mod for tit the titanium armor, and I'm not going to put a piece of radiation ready mod onto the power armor, because I don't even know if it would accept it. And I don't want to mess this up because I don't have enough to make any extras. So I will need chest, gloves, and boots. Chest, gloves, and boots. And that's all I can make. So that should give us 100% radiation protection. Probably still a good idea to carry some radiation tablets with me in case I want to do the thing where I put a bedroll down and then I put a radiation pill in a container next to it so that if I die, I can wake up and put the radiation pill into me. Oh, it's gonna take a minute. All right, what else we got going here? We've got the lockable storage cabinets and we've got the sink. No, the sink is in the metal workbench. There we go. All right, let's like frame out a kitchen. You know, first things first, gotta get some light in here. You know, windows, they have a certain aesthetic to them, but I kinda, I want a, a see-through window. I wanna be able to see outside, jump outside, shoot outside, and for things outside to shoot at me as well, I guess. So where I come from, we always put the kitchen sink at the window so you can like when you're washing the dishes you can kind of look outside and kind of reflect on how much you'd rather be out there than inside doing dishes okay that'll probably do for storage the sinks actually have pretty good storage in them that'll give us two storage cabinets i'll put the fridge here i wonder can do i have to make a new fridge or can i just pick this one up uh, i can't pick that one up what can i pick the stove up i can pick the stove up so I want to put three ovens or stoves or what are these called? Wall oven. Yeah, ovens. I want to put three ovens up there. Start by getting that down so I can get the extra two ovens crafting. Then the lockable player fridge after that. My goodness, we're out of mechanical parts. Oh, bad. What do I need to make lights? Probably just um, electrical parts, I would imagine, and forged iron. Okay, I need a lot of those actually. Like, uh, what do I need here? Like one for every room and, and probably two for the big ones. So we're looking at like at least 10 to get things functional. I also want lights out here and then I want to replace all of the light fixtures that are on the outside of the building. So I'll just get all of them. I think the player lights are probably the ones we want because you can like change the shape of those and turn them into anything. 29. Yeah, let's we'll just start with that. And then I'll just go get some more forged iron rolling. Like all of it, 405, that's all the iron. We'll have to go get some more. So there's the radiation ready mods. Let's try to confirm my theory here that, for example, I wouldn't be able to put a radiation ready chest onto my gloves. Ooh, my theory proves correct. Now, actually I cannot test it. I was gonna test and see if I could even put those onto a power armor or if the power armor would not accept that because it already has radiation resistance. But I think I made the right decision here. There we go, we have 80% radiation resistance. Oh, what did I do wrong here? Oh, there it goes. I just had to like kind of take my armor off and then put it back on and now we're up to 100% and we're starving. Let's get some food. Damn, that's some good food. Love it. Okay, there are 19 lights. We got like 10 more rolling in. Just need to settle on a sort of lighting scheme here. Oh, you know what? We're also gonna need junction boxes. Can I make those or am I out of resources? Give me two of those and I think that will probably do it. So I think we want this area up here to be nice and illuminated. It looks fine right now, but if I turn my light off, you can see where it's it's quite dark actually. That light up there is not doing too much. And then we need a light in here. And I think I like the idea. Can we just take that out? 
I'm gonna do the same thing that I learned at the the little church that we were at before, where there was like, it seemed like there was a rope that was suspended down that like held the light. So kind of like that, and then just get like an industrial light bulb and pop that in there. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that'll work. And just same thing down here. Perfect. And as for my humble little bedroom here, oh yes, the end table lamps. It's exactly what I wanted. Put two of those in, nice and cozy. And we'll get some like, I don't know, some personal storage cabinets up here, like a gun safe or something like that, just to make it look nice. Okay, we've got lights in here. We've got lights to all of the side rooms now, I think. Yep. I'm gonna get some lights in here, like not torches. I think since this is a fighting area, we want this to be well illuminated and we've got the fluorescent lights and these give off a really good shine so how about that right there i'd like to maybe get some lights out here so we can see the zombies that we're killing get rid of that wondering if it's just like a light there and a light there i feel like that's pretty symmetrical because it's at the corner of the opening and it wouldn't be too high and it wouldn't be too far away from the, the causeway here so what do you think? Horizontal or vertical? Ah, decisions. We'll go horizontal. Oh my goodness. What a mess we have down here, huh? I gotta get that cleaned up. So a couple of episodes ago, that was like the most repeated comment. Like, Tim, clean up the fucking cathedral already. And I'm just like, oh, okay, fine. I'll do it. <laughs> it's about time anyway. We have plenty of time before the next horde. And uh, we have really nothing to do. We really just need to do looting. That's the big focus for the week because... We gotta do scavenging, we need mechanical parts, we need electrical parts, we need basically all the resources, we need to go back to the wasteland. Oh, and someone told me, I'm gonna pull the map up here, someone told me that I drove right by Catlins, which is the uh, the last trader. So maybe there's a Catlin compound, no, that's El Chapo's, fucking love that place. I do not see a trader Catlin. I don't think that's Trader Catlin. That's just a regular POI right there. So anyway, uh, someone said that they saw it. So we'll have to like make the trip again. There's a whole bunch of loot out there that we left behind. So we'll have to go grab that up while we're looking for uranium. Yeah, no wandering hordes all day. I said that and one's probably right behind me. Nope, we're good. Yeah, so these are the lights. There's, let's see, there's two here, um, two here and the clock. I like that clock. It's kind of nice. And then there's two here. Okay. And then on the exterior, we have just two here and I want to replace all these. I want them all to work. And I believe I like these black iron outdoor lights. Those are kind of nice. Put those in instead. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll get some more eventually and kind of like string them all the way over. Nope. 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 Can't do that. Cause these are half blocks. So it'd be all messed up there, unfortunately. Oh well. So these ones in here, do I have those ones? I don't think I have those ones. I'll have to select something different. Oh no, I do. Sconce. This one, okay. Oh look, there's some lights over there too. Let's replace those. Nice. All right, before I get that completely wired up, I think what I would like to do is just finally knock out these staircases. These are so inconvenient to try to jump up into. So I'm just gonna carve them out and we'll just leave this little balcony right here with a ladder going to the top. Last one, it is. So now the idea is just like I said, put a little ladder here and we can jump right up, no problem. Watch my back turrets, thank you. All right, we should be in a position now where we can finish out the kitchen. 
I want that nasty white one. I want this nice stainless steel. And I can get the red wall oven, which kind of matches the theme a little bit. Kind of like a nice mahogany look, I guess. Are you kidding me? I can't change the shape of this oven here. I don't know what happened, but we, we got a little oddball oven here. Okay, good for now. Let's try to get this place wired while it's still nighttime. We might be able to see what it looks like before morning. But in order to do that, we're going to need a few junction boxes. I'll put one there and I'll put one on this side here. Generator goes to junction box. And the junction box acts as a relay, so you can have multiple lines coming off of it. So we can do this to all of the lights. Yeah, cord's not gonna reach all the way down here, so we'll need another set of junction boxes to kind of chain these together and get these bottom lights working. But for now, let's see how it works. Aha! Nice! Okay, turning my headlamp off, we got lights everywhere. Ooh, looking so cool. Kitchen light operational, light down here working. Really good bright light down here in the fighting area. Exterior lights looking fine, love it. We'll have to get some spotlights to put up into the like the rafters once we get the ceiling built. Uh, maybe like right where that um, speaker there is, put like a um, spotlight shining here so we can see everything real good on the face. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, just put a junction box there because it's just kind of well hidden. I might need a ladder right there in order to like get the cord to reach. Let's check it. Generator all the way down here. Yep, see we're red right now, but if I jump up here, we're black. Perfect. Let's get all the exterior lights hooked up now. Oh, look, the lights you can see them from outside. So cool. You can't really see all of them. Some of them are kind of weaker than others, but I think it'll be fine. It'll look good. We'll have to figure out some more exterior lighting in the future. And, uh, but for now, I have another project that I would like to work on. So everyone's been telling me that beef jerky is really, really good stuff. I don't even have that unlocked yet because it's, is it the master survivor? Yes, master survivalist. That unlocks a lot of things that I want, actually. Signal flare, everyone tells me to use the signal flare in the wasteland, so I want that. I want the large backpack, I want the mega crush, and survival torch. That must be something good if it's a master thing, so, hmm, I don't know. Oh, but it's this one here that unlocks the beef jerky, so not quite there yet. Maybe after the next horde, we'll kind of finish up with the survivor class, but otherwise I don't think these are like the most important things. Disease resistance, heat and cold, nah. Okay, I want to get the loadout changed around because I've been messing around with stuff here and I, I finally kind of settled on what I want to have in the hot bar at all times. Is this a horde? It's a freaking horde! Ah, get ready! Close the hatches! These need to be reloaded. Just get the good turrets down. Holy crap, we got a demon! We got a demon! I saw it! Yep, I can hear it! Everybody open fire and let it rip here with the... Oh my god, it's a bear! It's a bear! Yep, there's that, um, demon right there! Got him! Dead! Okay, I think we're on the tail end of it now. We did good. Wow, that was like, a abrupt chaos right there. Yeah, we got a screamer here now. Great. She's there! Got her! Did she spawn anything in? Military tablet. Let's look at the area. We're looking good. We got one more zombie in the cathedral, and then we're done. And we're done. Instantaneous loot bag opening. Gotta love it. And a skill point there. Right, let's get the hot bar sorted out. Okay, so the only real change here is that we're gonna be rolling with the Akavaran shotgun from now on. Put the slugs into it for good armor piercing capability. We'll be rolling full time with the sniper, soon to be laser sniper rifle, and the coil carbine. So that's three long guns, two, well, three turrets total, two long range turrets, one close range turret, the baton, and the only spot left is for a little surprise. Some titanium knuckles, baby. 
I got two more crafting so we can do some combining in a little bit, but I really want to give these a try. We're fully specced into blunt weapons now, so I just, we, whoops, all oh, this poor chem station. So without further ado, what I really want to do for this episode, the big, big project is to open that loot bag and take that stuff, is gonna be clean up all of this rubble. My goodness, there is a ton of it. Probably gonna call in a screamer in the process. Also probably wanna get all this rubble here cleaned out and get some nice topsoil put in, and then we'll put the floor in and upgrade it and probably just slap a quick paint job on it so we don't have to look at like regular old wood. Oh, that's a demon. What are you doing here? No! Ow, oh, crap, on fire. You said it, whoa, why do my hands look so weird? Oh, I've got deformed arms. What happened? Oh my, did you see that? <laughs> my arms like shriveled up to half their size. Must have been some sort of demonic curse that he put on to me. All right, let's do this. All right, Tim Cam has left the game. Guns, Nerds, and Steel also eliminated Tim Cam because Tim Cam spawned on the roof of the Horde base and got shot by the auto turrets, but that's okay. So what do you think, guys? I think it looks pretty good. It looks much cleaner. Now, we'll have to get that upgraded in the coming days. I don't think I have enough wood right now to do it. The next step here is going to be destroying all of these blocks. These are like destruction blocks that have only 500 hit points. And so we'll get rid of all this crap, and then we will build up the walls, we'll build up the pillars, and it's gonna be quite a chore. I might even like pull this up in a test world and just kind of like study it for a little bit and get an idea of like how I'm going to replicate this whole thing over here, over here, because it's gonna be like, I don't wanna have to run over here. Oh, that's how you do it, and then run back over here. So, you know, I'll have to like, I'll have to take screenshots and stuff like that and have them pulled up to my side on my second monitor while we're working on those projects in the future. But for now, it is, um, it's getting late. Uh, the, the day is almost over. There is one more thing I wanted to do. So I've been looking for some kind of a garage system that we can set up. Now, we have the rectory over there, but it's just so small. And I might still turn that into some kind of a garage in the future and we'll put like the mechanic workstation over there. But then there's this place over here, which almost actually looks like a garage already. So I wanted to have a peek over here. Just knock some of this stuff out. This is um, some kind of like a bank maybe, or like a post office. Oh geez, more rubble. <laughs> I don't want to hit rubble anymore. I've been doing that for half an hour. I do have a zombie in here. Take care of him. Grab his loot. Okay, this just opened to the outside. So yeah, what if I just knocked uh, one of these walls out real quick, see what it looks like. That's the idea right there. And I think I could get like, what is it? The three by three, the new doors? Three by three roll up door, which is gonna cost me some mechanical parts and I don't have those right now. So we can get those crafted and put some doors in here. Although there would need to be some sort of a like a top block to put on there. We'll play with that later. For now, I just wanna see if the Marauder would even fit in there. Marlene, get out of here. All right, survey says, ooh, I think we're gonna make it. Oh, we can squeeze right in there. It's tight, but I think it'll work. We'll have a four bay garage. 
And we'll just have to, like, knock some of this stuff out. So I decided I'm going to put the crowbar away because now that I have this titanium pickaxe, we can basically break into anything really, really easily. It even functions pretty well as an axe. Like, good enough for me anyway. Okay, so that'll be a future project to get this turned into, like, the full-time garage. We'll have to get a generator, get some lights. You know, we'll knock the lights out here. Oh, it'll be so cool. I think we're all set up out here as well. Too bad I can't plant grass. Is there a way to plant grass? Otherwise, I might have to, like, see if I can plant some flowers over here. These are not actually dirt. These are just blocks that are painted to look like dirt, which is kind of unfortunate. I could potentially knock these out and replace them with the, the rounded farm plot blocks maybe and put some like um chrysanthemums or something but then they wouldn't get any water so that would that would suck um we could go to the, the trader and get like the azalea in fact we got to make a trader run anyway let's do that right now oh yeah we're looking real good in here now nice and clean i don't know what to do in this big opening i don't know if i can craft these benches or not yeah i don't know we might have to just do like wooden chairs or come up with some other system we'll see so the rest of my titanium nucks are ready. Let's just combine them real quick to get the level 80. 78, 80, nice. And then we just gotta get some mods for it. And I think I actually wanna see if I can get the laser battery. Laser battery, okay. Oh my, general schematics, that's a lot. And enriched uranium. Okay, so we can't do that just yet, but that needs to be a goal because that turns any weapon, I think, into a laser weapon and therefore can disable demotic regeneration so i want those for the robotic turrets all the guns you know everything i want that for everything except for the baton because this already has that function just kind of going through the cell chest and, and basically it also contains everything that we got from the loot bags at the last horde night so i'm just going to read this generic skill note i think that just gives me plus one skill point to spend on whatever i want yeah we have two now Gonna hang on to him. I've spent too many skill points today. Ooh, I got a brass catcher. That must have been in one of the loot bags. So I'll have to put that on some kind of a firearm. From what I understand, I think that only works for like brass casings and it does not work for steel or coil round casings, but I could be wrong on that. So what I'm gonna do for the next few minutes is just do some combining with all of this stuff, get it all topped off so that we can take it all over to the, the trader and sell it all in one go. All right, that's everything. Let's roll out. I feel like this here is like the obligatory selling vehicle for trader runs. Okay, that's it for selling. Yes, my first multi-tool kill. So for the remainder of the night, I think I might do a little bit of organizing in here, and then I, I have to do some mining. We have to get more iron and... Uh, that's pretty much it. We need more forged iron. And then tomorrow we need to do a lot of raiding in order... Well, probably we'll do some wrecked quest. Try to drive up our faction reputation for wrecked and do lots of harvesting. We got to replenish on electrical parts, mechanical parts, and pretty much everything else. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. And as darkness falls, we pray for courage and protection in the face of our enemies. We are the Order of Steel, and we fear no evil. For we live in the Valley of the Shadow of Death, and evil will fear us. While you're waiting for the next episode, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. My name is Temreki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching and goodbye.